Jesho Bingu Se Fujo Shoga Gashi Jo Butundo Yosho Cho Jepo Ukyo Mi Sho Wan Se Fujo Shoga Vyokujin Sho Nen Yo e shu bong yo shi gu mu jo do i shu ten nin shi jin riki en dai ko u shu mu sai do shu jo san ku myo o sai shu yaku nan I he chi again, me she come mo on, he so ku jo haku do, su dat n zen shu mon, o so jo man zo, i yo ro je po, ni chi gad n shu ju ki, En ko on pugen, ishu kai ho zo, ko se ku do ku ho, yo o dai shu chu, se po shi shi ku, tu yo is tai bud, gu so ku shi u to ku hon, Gan ne shitn jo man, toku i sangai yo, nyo but muge chi, su dat mi fu cho, gan ga ku e li, to shi sai sho son, ti gan ga ko ka, Dai sen o kando, toku shio ten nin, yo uchi myo ke. Golden Chain. I am a link in Amida's golden chain of love that stretches around the world. I will keep my link bright and strong. I will be kind and gentle to every living thing and protect all who are weaker than myself. I will think pure and beautiful thoughts, say pure and beautiful words, and do pure and beautiful deeds. May every link in Amida's chain of love be bright and strong, and may we all attain perfect peace. Namo Amidabutsu, Namo Amidabutsu, Namo Amidabutsu. Well, good morning, everyone. 
Welcome to our virtual service and thank you for joining us today. Please join me in Gasho for a reading from the collected works of Shinran. Persons of utter foolishness committing the 10 transgressions and five grave offenses have been sinking for long kalpas in the sea of birth and death, dwelling in the dust of blind passions. And when they say the name Namo Amida Butsu, even once, and thus attain the pure land, they became they become one with the Dharma body as suchness. Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida. Uh, so I receive uh, a newsletter from the Bright Dawn Center of Oneness, uh, and uh, this is uh, Reverend uh, Koyo Kubosi's uh, newsletter from his center down in California. Uh, in this newsletter, there was an article uh, by Reverend uh, Kubosi, and uh, he writes about um, how he takes out the garbage bins each week and. Uh, as, uh, as he moves the bins into position, he finds a, a much deeper meaning. Uh, he has found a much deeper meaning. Uh, he says that he observes that the very existence of human garbage uh, means that life is being lived. Uh, but for us in everyday life, garbage has just been a byproduct of, of using and consuming and engaging in various activities. Uh, he begins to see garbage as a sort of a ritual teaching. Uh, typically, garbage itself is not viewed as uh, a good thing, but a problem that needs to be taken care of. But it's from this perspective that garbage is viewed in my next uh, story. It concerns a man who learned an important life lesson back uh, in the back of a uh, New York City taxi cab. And it goes like this. He says, I hopped in a taxi and we took off for Grand Central Station. We were driving in the right lane and all of a sudden a black car jumped out of a parking space right in front of me. And I'm sure you've had that happen at least once yourself. The taxi driver slammed on his brakes and skidded and missed the other car by just a few inches. The driver of the other car, the guy who was, uh, almost caused the accidents, uh, whipped his head around and started yelling all sorts of curse words and bad words at us. And the taxi driver uh, just smiled and and uh, just waved at the guy. He said he was actually very friendly. So I asked him, why did you just do that? The guy almost run your car down, called you all sorts of names and could have sent both of us to the hospital. And this is when the taxi driver told me about what I now call the law of garbage trucks. Many people are like garbage trucks. They run around full of garbage, full of frustration, full of anger, full of dis disappointment. And as their garbage piles up, they need some place to dump it. And if you let them, they'll dump it on you. When someone wants to dump on you, don't take it personally. Instead, just smile, wave, wish them well and move on. I'm sure you'll be happier because you did. He says, wow, that really got to me think, got me thinking, how often do I let garbage trucks run right over me? And how often do I take the garbage and spread it around onto other people at work, at home, on the streets and meetings? Um, it was that day I resolved, I'm not, going to do that anymore. And since then, I've started to see garbage trucks everywhere. Just as the kid in the movie, The Sixth Sense said, I see dead people. I can, I can now say I see garbage trucks. I see the load they're carrying. I see them coming towards me to drop it off. And like that taxi driver, I don't make a, it a personal thing. I just smile, wave, wish them well, and move on. If we look closely, we can find some very wonderful teachings in the most mundane places in our lives. In closing, please join me again in Gasho for a reading from Collected Works of Shimon. Persons of utter foolishness committing the 10 transgressions and five grave offenses have been sinking for long calls in the sea of birth and death dwelling in the dust of blind passions. 
but when they say the name of Amida Buddha, even once and thus attain the pure land, they become one with the Dharma body as Sestas. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Thank you for listening to my Dharma message and have a great, wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.